today is the culmination of uh, three years of hard work. Um, I feel like it was probably one of the most public uh, interactive processes that I've ever been a part of for a species plan. Um, I think it was worth the time it took. You know, it took three years to make. This one being your guide to uh, Idaho's 2014 health plan. This is a glossy version of the uh, summary that uh, the commission asked for. Uh, I couldn't even begin to tell you how many people have responded, but I would put it into the thousands that have had input on this health plan, and we really appreciated their input. It's been a great asset to us beginning to work towards that with the departmental staff and, and coming out with what we think is a great comprehensive health plan for the state of Idaho for the next few years. There aren't a lot of huge changes to the to the elk, to elk hunting, but there are some zone changes that we're going to make those changes this year in the regulations. Uh, we are implementing a few season changes to accommodate for the zone changes. Um, we are actually making some changes to depredation hunts uh, around the state and how we actually administer them and making them more specific to be more responsive to problems in certain areas that we're having with elk um, and not making them so large that we you know, affect elk that aren't being problems. So habitat changes, of course, take a long time to actually happen and to, and to take effect, but you know, we're already actually seeing some effects of uh, the elk plan on uh, some of the forest uh, acres that are being manipulated um, throughout the state. And with that includes also predator control, not just the wolf, but we have lions, we have bears, we have a broad spectrum of predators out there that have an impact on our ungulate herds. Our main goal was to restore in those units that have been deficient in our, on our elk herds. You know, it took three years to make, and, and I think it was worth it. I think, uh, you know, going back to the public a couple times with surveys and having the online chat. And oh, that's a big question. Okay. Having those opportunities to interact with the public, I think, made a better plan, and I'm excited about it, and I hope that uh, people are happy with, uh, with what we do for the next 10 years for elk.